Welcome to Collecting Chaos. My name is James, and this is a deep dive into the Unknown Worlds. That's the name of the comic we're going to take a look at today, Unknown Worlds. Um, and uh, yeah, let's let's go over to my hands and get started. Okay, let's take a look at this Unknown Worlds here. It's got a lot of uh, a lot of creases on the cover. Uh, it's got uh, some splits here. Don't know if those are repairable or not. Might be. It looks like it's detached from the cover there. Open it up, and yeah, it's detached from the cover on the top, but not the bottom. So that's a good thing. It's still... Uh, just based on the cover alone, I'd say good. But let's look through the comic. Uh, pages are yellow to tan. Uh, I'm just going to say a, a tan. Uh, no acidic smell. The pages are, are fairly supple. They feel a little dry. I might go ahead and put this in a humidity chamber just to add some moisture to the to the. To the paper because the paper is getting dry uh, and of course it needs to be swept off but I don't have my brush with me today up here we have a little little water stain tide mark up there here we've got the the centerfold is detached and dirty it looks like it might have a little mold on it yeah we'll have to I will be fixing that. I don't know if I'll do that on screen or off screen. I might do it on. I haven't decided yet. Uh, if you want to want, if you want to see me fix that, let me know. Uh, we'll clean this up a little bit. Wow, that's definitely mold there. So I have to uh, do something about that right away. A lot of people, they get a moldy comic, the first thing they do is toss it in the trash. I don't do that. It's got some pencil marks here. Wow, really bad browning up there. It looks like, I don't know what that looks like, but it's nasty. So we'll have to clean all that off as best we can. Uh, I'm going to put this in fair condition, maybe a 0.5 to a 1, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's in pretty bad shape. But that's okay. Uh, I'll see what I can do with it, and if I can't fix it up, you know, I'll pull the staples and toss it. Uh, I do pull staples out of old comics that are, are no good simply because the staples can be used in other comics from that publisher in that year. And that's always a good thing to have. So This is from 1966, and it's uh, printed by the same people that did DC Comics, so those are basically DC Comics staples. So That's it for this one. A uh, short little video. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go back to me. Yeah, that's about it. Um, got a lot of stuff to do to that comic. I don't know if I'm going to... I might not even keep it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it's got some really bad... And, and the mold is bad. Uh, which reminds me, you know, you never know when you're going to run across stuff like that. So make sure before you hand all your comics, you wash your hands. And after you're done with them, wash your hands again because you never know. In the meantime, make sure you have a great week and a great day, and uh, I'll see you again later. Bye. <laughs>